What's up you ILS Army and Moneymakers, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about ILS sticker symbol ILUS. If you are new to this stock, it's an OTC traded stock right now at 15 cents. What we are going to talk in this video is whether ILS will be 10 cents or Will it be 20 cents next week and within a couple of next week where ILS can go from here? Why I'm talking about 10 cents versus 20 cents is if you take a look for last five days, we have seen almost 13 cents from 18 cents. But if you take a look at for last one month, we went from almost 10 cents to 20 cents and we are right now back in the middle around 20 cent. Now, what you should be considering for ILS moving forward, what are some of the catalysts? ILS just announced that they have audited report that they might be releasing next week, fully audited reporting status and name change as well. So ILS will be in the business of ton of news in the upcoming next few days. That can trigger the stock price in one or the other direction. You also want to think about where the market is going what is the market sentiment we'll be talking about all this important juicy and interesting information before that i just wanted to ask you a big favor if you can hit that like button if you can subscribe to the channel and if you turn on the notification bell that will be super super helpful i'm not a financial advisor but we have been covering alice for a long time and many other penny stocks we have been covering neo tesla and many other growth stocks as well as cryptocurrency so hit the like button subscribe to the channel it doesn't really cost you anything it'll help me out because i put in a ton of energy effort and time in building this video hoping you can make informed financial decisions now let's get back to ILS. So we are at 15 cents, 4.69% up in last trading session. Five days, we have seen 17% downturn once again from 18, 18 and a half cent to 15 cent. We went as low as 13 cents, but we managed to get back up to 15 cents. Now, if you take a look at last one month, once again, we have seen peaks and valleys if you want to take a look at one year, we have seen 51 cents. We started following ILS when it was six, seven cents. We have seen 10x return in ILS. If you sold it around 45, 50 cents, congratulations. You make money in stock when you sell, when you click the sell button and when you sell the stock. So exit strategy always helps. You can do a ton of swing trades as well. However, ILS is one of a unique OTC stock that I have seen started with half a million dollar in revenue in Q1 2021, which was last year by this time around they are expecting for 2022 45 million dollars in revenue they did 13.5 million up until q3 last year and they did about 14 million dollars in revenue in last uh, nine to eight to nine months and we will be getting more report more structured report as ILS uh, announced now if you take a look at uh, nasdaq stock market if I remember correctly, we are 20% down year to date. So within last uh, almost 18.88, so 19% down, 3,000 points down NASDAQ. We are right now at uh, 12,843 points below 13,000. Now, if you want to see, we are making lower lows. So this is one more lower low another lower low, another lower low, and one more lower low. There are certain reasons why we are creating lower and lower low, why there are red sentiment, why there are severe red days compared to green days. But the good news is the supply chain management is getting back up to speed. So that is no longer going to be a big concern. The pandemic situation has been improving day by day. Hopefully, the Ukraine and Russia situation will get uh, better as well next week and next few, within the next few days as well. But you want to also consider the bad news or the elephant around the room in the room, which is inflation. Inflation is going to create some more concerns, especially when the oil is above $100. Right now, it's $109.09, which is stable for last 24 hours or down 0.22%. But overall, if the oil price spikes, that is going to hurt the market. Last Within the last trading session, Nasdaq was down 286 points. Dow Jones was down 229 points. And we are hoping for better news next week. You also want to consider that the Fed is going to meet very soon. And they're going to talk more about the inflation, more about the interest rate hike that they want to do. They can do as high as 
four interest rates hike in 2022, but I do believe that it might not be total four because we are already running a little bit behind. The situation has been changed, especially with the Russia and Ukraine, whatever is happening, we are also seeing some of the concerns around the supply chain management, which is not still uh, out of the question. So there are some things going on which may push, their, their, that may introduce some of the delays into the rate hikes. Now, going back to ILS once again, 17.3 thousand followers, what ILS uh, told us is we have good news regarding ILS audit, fully reporting status and name change full details next week. Now, this go this is going to be pretty impressive because personally me, I'm looking for what ILS is doing in terms of the profitability. When we speak about the revenue, as we all know, ILS wants to become a $100 million revenue company. They have coming up a few spin off that is going to be massive as well, which ILS wants to keep the stake between 50 to 80%, which is going to be a great thing as well. However, with 15 cents price point, it may or may not we need to see how that is going to play out. If it was 50 cent, that might be a case where people will be getting more stake into the, more skin into the game, more stake into the game. But 50, with 15 cents, we need to see where it lands for the shareholders. But I'm hoping for the best. Now, if you think about what ILS is going to do, they're expanding. They're expanding left and right. So they're not stopping. They confirmed the Middle East market plan in response to the increased demand and opening their Saudi Arabian office in addition to recently open Dubai office. So what they're doing right now is expanding themselves. They're setting everything up up and running they have in this dubai office that is recently open it accommodates up, up to 75 staff members and the office is home to the members of ILS finance administration sales and marketing teams which, which is located on in one of the prestigious building in dubai now so they're expanding that's number one number two is you want to also point out at, at the at the volume we are seeing decreasing volume even though the price is around 15 to 14 to 15 cents rather and as you see the average volume is 16.8 million where the current volume is 5.07 so 5 million in volume now if you take a look at the overall volume we saw higher volume when we were at 21 cents and we gradually went down to 14 to 15 cents we went as down as 12 cents but after that, we rebounded and we started seeing higher and higher lows. So 12.80, 13.70, 14.10, 14.07, where we also saw the higher highs. From 14 cents, we saw 15, 15, 15, and 15. So we are sustained. However, you want to notice a deficiency in volume. We used to do 12, 22 million, 22 million, 13 million, 15 million. So we were in two digit in million revenue, which was cut down in half. So we went from 22 to 9.5 million, 3 million, 5 million, 5 million. So you want to focus a little bit on the volume as well. I'm not saying it's a bearish sign, but we may quickly go into the bullish price point as well because if you take a look at the chart how fast it grew from 11 cents right here at 45 cents which was 4x within just a period of a few days which can happen once again i'm not saying that it'll go to 45 cents what i'm saying is if they are coming up with a lot of spin-off news and this will be basically risk versus reward so you want to play your game as well based on that because there is a risk but the reward is two, three, four, five X. On the flip side, if there is not really great news or maybe it is suffering in terms of the revenue and profitability, it can go down south 20, 30, 40, 50% as well. And that's the nature of OTC and penny stock. But they want to get uplisted on NASDAQ. They want to do spin off. They have really, really great planning coming up for two to three acquisition per quarter. So I'm pretty hopeful that they're going to do a ton better. If you want to take a look at their moving average, which is 21.38, right now we are at 15 cents. Now, when they meet in the middle, it could be the possibility that they can meet around 18 to 19 cents, which is once again a pretty good price point for ILS because 19 cents is where it has a lot of resistance and a lot of support. We tried to clear that 19 to 20 cents, which, which we could not, but from 19, 20 cents, we went back down to 12 cents. And right now we are trying to figure out where we want to go. But this moving average is right now into the downtrend, which can stabilize and hopefully start 
starts getting back up but it depends upon many other factors than just ILS itself we want to see that the market rebounds as well if the market gets back into green so which means there are more green days than red days and the severity of red days needs to decrease as well if you want to see what is happening in terms of rsi we are 44 rsi which is something i like to see it's more on the oversold side side it's not an oversold side we have seen when it's truly oversold we see 20 25 30 but 44 is very close to middle but more towards oversold side which is going to help ILS getting back up and running into the positive direction you want to note that as well when we talk about ILS, we have to see what is the short volume, especially with the 5 million FINRA total volume, we are not seeing a huge short volume. The short volume is 21.40, which means 1 million shares were shorted when we had seen the volume of 5 million. When we had 3.5 million, we saw under a million, 922,000 shares were shorted, which puts ILS at 25.99. So short volume is not really causing this dip that we are seeing into the market. It's an organic dip, especially when the markets are in red. We may see OTC and penny stocks hammered a lot in last few weeks, last few days. Hopefully, this will get back into back into the business when everything settles down, settles down, especially Ukraine and Russia settles down. So we may see one big spike, but you also want to notice that inflation is not really out of the question. Now, when we talk about ILS, we got to see what news is going on into the market. Now, ILS has been left and right, keeping everyone posted. They have been merger and acquisition uh, up with full swing, and they have been sharing that data as well. They opened up a couple of new offices. They exhibited in a couple of growth conferences as well. They are going to rather exhibit in April in terms of the technology world's largest fire and rescue convention. They have done pretty well, especially with their firebug and the technologies that they are acquiring around Fire safety is amazing. ILS International, they also presented at the Emerging Growth Conference on March 2nd. They are also doing a ton in terms of the quarterly board meeting and ramping up with their product roadmap. They're, they have acquired Vera Drone. They have also got $6 million in deposit. Then they are, uh, they're expecting to, uh, to uh, send the, 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 the early uh, product that they have in alpha and beta in by the end of 2023 which is amazing it's all in all millions of dollars in terms of uh, in terms of the project re revenue that they're going to be getting by the end of 2023 all in all they're expecting 45 million dollars in revenue in 2022 we'll be able to see what ILS does in terms of the profitability what is their growth margin what is their profit margin and every good news and some of the juicy information Early next week, I'll make sure I'll share that information with you because I myself am looking into what is the profitability, what is their margin, what is their user acquisition cost. In this case, use case, the, it is a business to business company or B2B. So if their user acquisition cost is not really great, it's not really huge, it's not really massive, then they can do a ton in terms of the profitability. Now, if they do $45 million in revenue, and only if they do 20% profit, we are looking at $9 million in profit for the entire year. Now think about it, a company that had half a million in revenue in Q1 2021, if they can do $9 million in, in profitability, and this is pretty hypothetical, I have no idea about their numbers, but then they will be doing what, they're, they're looking at a multiplier of more than 20x in terms of profitability, in terms of uh, the revenue, in terms of anything and everything that you can think of, which can spike the price up regardless of their number of uh, outstanding shares, number of uh, authorized shares, so on and so forth. We're looking at the same number of shares that can spike 10 to 20x, and this is where I'm coming from. Write down in this comment section below if you really have any comment about ILAS and their stock price. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.